Okay, we are working on uh, the lecture for section 3.1. Sorry, I'm not sure. Sorry, that's my personal assistant talking. All right, uh, we're talking about the electronic kind. If I say her name, she'll start talking to me again. Okay, <laughs> I know. Graphing equations in two variables. That's what this pretty much this whole chapter is going to be about and all the different pieces to this. So we're first going to introduce the Cartesian coordinate system. It was found or not found, developed by Rene Descartes, who was a famous philosopher and mathematician. All right. In this, by standard, your horizontal axis is your x-axis and your y-axis is your vertical line. Origin is the very middle. It would have coordinates 0, 0. Our coordinates are always listed as an ordered pair. That's this section right here we're doing. And that is x comma y x first y second always 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 i don't know why it's suddenly freaking out but it is come on i'm not touching anything nothing's touching the keyboard what is going on here well maybe it was, that thing was touching there apologies okay here we are your x coordinate is always the first number and it is the number on the horizontal axis. So let's look at these as we talk about this. So let's look at B. For example, our positive numbers will always move just like you're reading forward. And if you went this way, you'd be reading backwards. That's our negative numbers. So this would be the negative x. Uh, somehow. I got smaller and I'm not sure how. Anyway. Nope, still didn't do it. Okay. Let me. There we go. And this is my positive x axis. This is the positive y axis. And this is the negative y axis. Okay, so this is the y axis. Positive part is above the x, negative is below the x. On the x-axis, positive is forward of the y-axis, negative is backwards from the y-axis. So this b is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 in the x direction, and 1, 2, 3, 4 in the y direction. So its coordinates would be 4, 4. Okay, let's look at D. D isn't going to be matched, so that'll be helpful. In the X direction, we go negative 1. In the Y direction, negative 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, that is our co the coordinates of D. Okay, so we can put these over here. B is 4, 4. D is negative 1, negative 4. A is negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4. A is negative 4, but positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7. Whereas C is also negative 4, but it's sitting right on the x-axis. Therefore, the y value is 0. It doesn't have a vertical component. Okay, now plot the following ordered pairs. Now we're going the other direction. So positive 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's our A. Negative 2, negative 4 for B, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2 negative 3, negative 4. So that's right here, and that is our B. C is a positive 8, which takes me all the way to here, and a negative 2. So 1, 
2. So right there would be my C. D is positive 2, 1, 2, with a negative 3. 1, 2, and negative 3. We're good. Negative is downwards, remember. Okay, E is negative 5 in the x direction. So we've been to negative 2, 3, 4, and negative 5. Positive 2, 1, 2. So we go up 2. And there we have it. All right, so that is, oops, I didn't label E and I did not label D. I apologize. And I have no idea what, oh, that has to do with a class that's starting in a few minutes. Okay, which quadrant is each point in? Okay, our quadrants are, um, I'm going to change color. There we go. And thickness to write these. Okay. Quadrant one, quadrant two, it goes counterclockwise. Positive, positive is one. Okay, then it goes counterclockwise. One, two, three, and four. Usually written in Roman numerals. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my regular pen and hopefully it is not still fat. It is not. Okay. All right, which quadrant is each point in? So you can see A is in point in quadrant one. B is over here in quadrant three. Uh, C and D are both in quadrant four. And I realize I'm writing that as a five and it's a four. So let's go fix that. Four. <laughs> Pretty easy to fix. All right, back to our purple pen. And E is in quadrant two. All right, an equation in two variables. The following is an equation in two variables. X plus Y equals 10. Now, we need two variables in order to plot them against each other. Remember, so far, all of our graphing has been number lines. In order to get it into a quart a Cartesian coordinate system, you need two variables, one on the X and one on the vertical, one on the horizontal and one vertical. All right, now determining if a solution satisfies, satisfies an equation is a plug and chug. You just plug it in, find out if it works. Okay, so here we have a couple of ordered pairs and they want to know which ones satisfy this equation. So we just plug them in y is equal to 4 times the x value. Okay, so our y is 12 equals 4 times the x, which is 3. Okay, see? All right, so that works. Yes? So, yes. All right, does 3 equal 4 times 12? No, because that's 48. Negative 20, does that equal 4 times negative 5? Well, that's negative 20, so it sure does. So, we have two that are solutions. Those two. All right, let's look at number two here. X plus 5Y equals 0. So we're going to try 0, 0 first. So we plug in a 0 for X and a, sorry, 0 for Y. And we get 0 plus 5 times 0 is 0 equals 0. So yes, that one works. Well, now we're looking at the 1 comma 1 fifth. So X is 1 plus 5 times 1 over 5, does that equal 0? Well, this ends up being 1 plus 1, which is 2, so no. Now we're going to plug in the 2 and the negative 2 fifths. So we have 2 plus a negative 2 over 5, but that's times 5. Does that equal 0? Well, these cross out, okay, because they're both 5s. So I end up with 2 minus 2 equals 0, which is a true statement. So, yes, that does fit. 
All right, let's look at plotting points method for graphing. All right, this is kind of the brute force method. There is no sophistication to it. It'll work every time. So if you have an equation you don't recognize a form for, or if you have a, you pull a mind blank and your mind just, you can't remember how you're supposed to graph it, you can always revert to plotting it through points. Okay. So, find several ordered pairs that are solutions of the equation. Plot these ordered pairs as points in the rectangular coordinate system. So first we're going to find some points. Our equation is y equals 2x. So we're going to choose x's. The easiest to choose are positive small numbers. So we're going to choose negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. No, I think they actually have us do, let's do it their way. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, we're going to do 0, negative 2 and negative 1, 1 and 2. So, those are all in order. just makes life easier. It doesn't have to be. Okay. If I plug in negative 2 for x... I have this, which is negative 4. So my graph is going to be negative 2, ne but the point, I'm sorry, is negative 2, negative 4. I plug in negative 1, I get 2 times negative 1, which is going to give me negative 2. So I have negative 1 for the x, but negative 2 for the y. Here I'm plugging in a 0. So 2 times 0 is actually equal to 0, so I go through 0, 0. I plug in a 1 for x, 2 times 1 is 2, so we have 1, 2. And I plug in a 2, I have 2 times 2, which is 4, which gives me a 2, 4 point. Okay. Okay, next plot the ordered pairs and connect the dots. Okay, so negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative, I'm sorry, 0, 0. We have 1, 2, so 1, 2, and then we have 2, 4. Okay, now, if I connect the, the dots, I've got that line. Okay, just by plotting the points, I was able to get the line. Alright, so now we have a new equation. We're going to do the same thing. Okay. So, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Y equals, so my first thing is 6x. So 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. I subtract 4. I have negative uh, 16. Okay, so negative 2, negative 16. If I plug in negative 1, 6 times negative 1 is a negative 6. Minus 4 is a negative 10. Negative 1, negative 10. 0, the 6 goes away. I just end up with negative 4. If I plug in a 1, I get a 6 minus 4, which is 2. So I have 1, 2. I plug in a 2, I get 12 minus 4, which is 8. All right, now I plot these five points. Negative 2, negative 16. Here's negative 2, but notice negative 16 is way off, so I'm not going to bother plotting that one. Sorry. Okay, then I have negative 1 is negative 10, which is way down there also. 0 is negative 4. That one I've got. Yay! 1 
gives me a positive 2, and positive 2, whoops, I didn't write it down. 2 gave me 8. Well, I only go up to 6, so it's actually kind of way up here. So, I have two points. That was just a mark. So, I have two points, which actually will give me a line. There we go. And you can see I'm almost up to that point. Okay. Now we've got a fraction. Isn't that ugly? Okay. So when you have a fraction multiplying your x, choose values that will get rid of the fraction. Zero will. In this case, since it's a 3 on the denominator, 3 would turn that into a 1, 6 would turn it into a 2, 9 would turn it into a 3. So we're going to use those kinds of numbers. So we have 0, negative 3, negative 6, 3, 6. Okay, we choose our x's wisely, and our math is easy. All right, so we have negative one third times negative six. Okay, that is a positive two, and then we have to subtract the one. That's our equation, so we get one. So the answer here is negative six one. We plug in negative three. It's going to turn this into a positive 1. Minus 1 gives us 0. So we have negative 3, 0. Remember, these are always going to start our uh, ordered pairs. All right, I plug in a 0. The whole x goes away. I'm left with negative 1. I plug in a 3. This now becomes negative 1. Minus 1 which is plus a negative 1, gives me negative 2. 6 gives me a negative 2. Minus 1, which is plus a negative 1, gives me negative 3. Okay, now we're going to plot them. Negative 6 and positive 1. Negative 3 and 0, 0, negative 1, 3, negative 2, and 6, negative 3. So you can see that you'd have gotten weird fractions if we had just used 1 and 2. So when you have a fraction, always choose numbers that get rid of it. It makes your life so much easier. And there's my graph. Okay, now the same is going to be true. This is going to work for nonlinear equations. Okay, so we're going to look at this and we see, oh, we have an x squared. So I'm going to keep that number nice and small. So we're going to do the minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, and now minus 2 squared is 4. So we have 4 minus 2 or 2. So minus 2, 2. I'm going to go ahead and put in all my x coordinates since I know what I'm going to choose. And that makes my life easier. Now I'll remember the right order. Okay, if I plug in a negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1. Minus, so I have a 1 minus 2, which is also negative 1. For a 0, which is what that nasty thing is, the x squared goes away, I'm left with just the minus 2. With a 1, 1 squared is 1, I end up with 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. With the 2, 2 squared is 4, minus 2 is 2. So notice there's a symmetry to my um, points, my y values. All right, so we start off with negative 2, positive 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 2. And there we go. Now we do our best to draw a line through these. Okay, that is actually called a parabola. You will learn about that in Math 65. 
Okay, and we're done.